90 seconds. Maybe we just grab some outcroppings real quick. Uh, ah! Ah! Oh! 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 You're kidding me! What is up the world? to go back in there it's your friendly neighborhood slip gator here and we're hanging out today doing stuff and things back with some subnautica below zero and the habitat builder here it comes it's gonna be amazing he's done it blueprints to your data bank Give me those bloops. Hey, you guys, welcome back and thanks for coming to hang out with me. Make sure if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. Show your support if you're new and you haven't already. Subscribe for more. And today we will be starting to build something. Some sort of a building structure deal is going to be started here by us today. Uh, we went to the Delta Station stuff and things. Where is it? Right there. Delta Station right in front of us. It got a bunch of different blueprints and all sorts of cool stuff and things. And I thought, what a better way to uh, celebrate than build a base uh, and a small one to start with. Something just kind of, you know, enough. Enough for now. Uh, pilot last known location, Delta Station. I'm just trying to, like, have a look around here and see where I want to go ahead and make this happen. Um, Twisted Bridges is a great place to start off with. I don't want to be too awfully far away from our starting location just so I can move things over easily. But I got to tell you, I think that they put the drop pod, the emergency pod, in different spots. Ooh. Ooh. Wait, what? What the crap is this? Because I keep finding things. I, I always use this as a, um, as kind of a beacon, uh, as kind of a, a waypoint. Dangerous weather approaching. Okay. Seek shelter. I will. Uh, and it always kind of feels like I'm a little bit lost when I first start playing the game. And I think that's because that thing is in different spots. I think it also faces different directions. Found the Twisted Bridges. It's kind of, I'm a little bit over to the side here. Let me pull up my amazing map. Uh, yeah, it feels like this is a little bit over this direction when normally it's kind of over here a little bit more. I don't know. I'm not exactly sure. Doesn't matter. We found this area. So uh, we went ahead and built the habitat deal. We have a bunch of titanium that I've already gathered up. I figure we'll start off maybe a little bit up high like so. Let's just get this guy up and running right here. And then, of course, I don't think I brought any quartz with me. <laughs> So we're gonna need that. So we're gonna need some quartz right there. Or we have enough at least to build this guy. You know what? Hold on. Let's pop this guy off. Let me put this guy over here like so. We'll drop a hatch on this bad boy. And then we're gonna need to go back to base because we are gonna need a little bit of copper. Uh, I, uh, copper and quartz by the looks of it. I wanna drop two uh, solar deals on top of this guy right here to start off with. And you may have noticed that this bad ombre doesn't have any legs. Now, I hate to break the fourth wall for you, but here, base uh, legs removal. I can actually multi-purpose room. Go like so. Bam! It's got legs! It's got gross legs. This is why we hate the legs. Uh, I probably should have placed it over a little bit, but this one derpy leg. What's up with you? Why are you even there? What are you... Look, you're not barely even supporting. You're not a very good leg. All right, uh, so anyway, enough about the legs. Let's go ahead and uh, grab this guy and then these guys. And then I do believe, oh, yeah, we got our sexy snap mod as well. Let's go ahead and place this guy right here. Of course, it's night right now, so it's not going to work. That guy right there. And then if we get up top here, maybe right here like so. Oh, it looks glorious. Also, I think I have a bug right now where my oxygen isn't being used. There it goes. Is it? That's weird, right? It kind of, for a second there, looked like I wasn't using any O2. All right, so we can pop inside of here now. Emergency power only. All right. Oxygen production offline. All right, good to know. Oxygen production offline. Now, what I'm thinking we might do, I actually kind of feel like I might want to extend this to another room that way, or we could just go up. We pop inside of here. The, a better place for that would be over there. Do I have enough spaces? Let's do this. Now I have to redesign this entire deal uh, to make it aligned the correct way. And I think I'm actually going to move the room a little bit. I'm just going to move this multi-purpose room a little bit. So what I like to do, I like to be kind of oriented in this direction. It's it's like south southeast-ish. 
but I kind of like to be pointing near to the pilot's last known location. Uh, the Delta Docs over there. There's the pod. This absolutely is in different places and faces different directions. It's facing off over that way towards where I think dry land eventually is going to be. But yeah, so I definitely want to kind of do some stuff and move this around a little bit. Uh, I'm wondering these plants. Oxygen. Hold, please. Ooh, that was quick. That was close. Ah. Uh. So these plant deals aren't going to move if I build this here, which is really unfortunate. I wish it would just remove them. I kind of feel like this is the spot right there. Now that, oh, it's going to mean there's going to be plants inside the base. All right, let's move this guy maybe over to right here for right now. This should be fine. All right, we'll drop that guy there. We'll add our hatch right here. This is all, this is all fairly temporary anyway, so it's not that big of a whoop. Uh, I dropped a bunch of stuff on the ground here, and it looks like that it's fall. Uh, it's trying. Try, you can't sneak away. Come back here. Can I? Can I get it all, please? I can. Look at that. All right. So no legs right now. Uh, I guess we could turn those back on again. Uh, and then inside Emergency of here. Oh wait, we need to put our solar panels up. Offline. All right, hold on. Let's drop those solar panels back again. Keeping an eye on that oxygen. Nope. Terrible disaster. We don't want to drown this close to the surface that would be embarrassing all right that guy right there that guy right there ah uh, and we have power all right that looks great oh, beautiful okay so i'm feeling like do we have enough stuff and things to do another multi-purpose room we might as well just freaking go ham right now Let's pop out here. Let's go ahead and add a second multi-purpose room right off the edge of this. Fingers crossed this is going to work and not be blocked by anything. All right, sweet. So we're not blocked by anything. Hopefully no plants inside. All right, now you might say to yourself, the legs thing breaks the immersion. Well, first of all, I don't know why there are legs there and no legs there. This is why I hate the legs. Uh, multi-purpose room, legs gone. All right, so uh, you may say this breaks the immersion slip gator. Uh, obviously it needs legs. No, I disagree. They have air inside of them. They're buoyant and it's an alien amazing uh, future technology. They have a perfect buoyancy uh, calculator um, and there's probably some sort of bladder system in there. It is right there. There's a water bladder. You can see it on the bottom there and it automatically fills with water to keep the buoyancy perfect. That's that's why there's no legs. Just a little bit of an explanation for you. Okay. So we have our little area here. I'm kind of thinking if we're going to do some more stuff and things. Well, actually, do I have what I need to do? Well, let's do this. Check this out, guys. To start off with, watch this, man. The snap mod. Oh, it's so hot. It's the hottest thing ever. Oh, baby. Look how nice that looks. Now, you can snap these guys as well. Uh, you can actually snap the way that they turn. It's a little bit wonky, as you can see. So you can kind of snap the way that they turn. You can just middle click and that goes away if you'd like. Um, but for right now, I think I'm just going to use these guys. They're a little bit less expensive. And they'll probably be all we need for this first iteration of the base. All right, so we got all those guys going. Now, uh, fingers crossed. Yeah, we can. We can make the fabricator. All right, sweet. So I can build our fabricator right here like this. Oh, you know what we should do? Hold, please. I wonder if we can build a fabricator on a window or if that stuff has changed. Of course, we don't have. Oh, we need glass, so we need the fabricator. Well, never mind, ladies and gentlemen. Let's just go forward. Move this here. We can see about putting some windows in here in a second. All right, there's our fab, and then probably we'll drop something over here. And we are out of resources. Okay, I'm out of titanium. So we got a bunch of lockers, a fabricator, a half-crafted base. I think that we should pop back over here. And what I'll do is make a couple trips back and forth and move all of our items over. Ah, after a little bit of gathering and a little bit of placing, we are ready to get organized, ladies and gentlemen. So we got inside of there lead. That looks like a good place for those guys. I need like an organics. Maybe like so. Let's call this organics like that. We'll call this guy seeds, right? Like so, and then, nope. And then over here, I think we have titanium. Like so, we'll probably make this titanium as well. Uh, what do we got inside of this guy already? Quartz, sounds good to me. So we can make that quartz. Like so, and then inside of here, we got metals. Metals? 
like that. And then inside of here, we have materials, like things we've already made, I guess, mats, like that. And then I have some equipment in here. I kind of feel like maybe equipment goes in a different spot and then seeds. I can, I guess we could have seeds be with eggs. Uh, and then let's go ahead and pop over here. We'll call this equipment. And uh, equipment's gonna be like that guy, maybe batteries. And then over here, we'll call them placeables. If I can type placeables like that. And that could be this, 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 and that. That poster as well. So now we know metals go right inside of here. Organics go right inside of here. Oh my God, we're so freaking organized. This is amazing. So we have this forward room too that we could do some stuff with. We're a little bit low on resources right now. Uh, one of the things that I want to take a look at right away, this guy, we need a battery charger. So that's going to take some copper and a wiring kit. We absolutely need to get one ASAP. Um, another thing, uh, probably a couple more solar panels wouldn't be terrible either. Uh, and we don't have what we need for those either. So it's going to be more quartz and more copper. So let me take a look here and see in my inventory. All right. So what I got to do, I'm going to go ahead and grab from our equipment one battery, right? Because we're going to need that for our, for our deal. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is just go out and do a little bit of gathering. Now, quartz and, um, and copper... Really kind of easy, just around in the area. We don't need to get too crazy. So I'll keep uh, going here, get a little bit more materials, and then I shall be our bees, peeps. All right, just back from a little gathering adventure, and uh, we should be good to go to make some stuff and things happen now. Let's go ahead and see, can I make the battery charger? Why do you hate me, game? Dude, no copper wire, no wiring kit. Wait, are you kidding me? Wait, hold on a second here. The mod, I have a mod that's supposed to automatically do this stuff. It should automatically create all the things. Hold on, we can make the copper wire. Maybe it got updated, I don't know, and wiring kit. Normally it'll, it'll make all the things that you need if you have a complex item that needs to be made, but I don't know, let's see. All right, so that guy can't go there. That's super frustrating, man. I need to be able to have windows for beauty, but at the same time, have utilities. Uh, and then I don't think I can place these guys. Oh, we can't place it over here. Maybe right over here is a good spot for it because I really want to keep my window. Let's go ahead and drop that guy right over here. Huge technological advancements. Take all of these guys. Open that bad ombre up. Two, three, four. All right, all of those are in there. So I have that many batteries, but what I need is a backup battery. So I need a battery for to have in my inventory all the time as well. All right, so now I can switch that guy out and then switch that with that. Look at that. All right, so it uh, looks like that the solar is keeping up quite nicely, but I wouldn't mind if we had a little bit more. The sun is about to go down, and uh, these little areas right here seem to be really good places to store the stuff or to place these things, I should say. Let's get one guy right there. Like so, and then another guy right behind it. It just looks so nice in there. I really don't need more than four. I, two more would look better. Uh, but this is fine for right now. I really like what we got going on over here. This is perfect. Oh, I placed a beacon as well. So now we know where our base is. Base place alpha is what I've named it. Uh, and we have a lot of good stuff and things going on around here, man. I feel like... Let me see. I wonder... What do we got inside of here that we need to do next? High capacity O2 tank. I already have it. So we're good to go with that. Uh, the rebreather we have. The compass we have. Thermos. Not sure if we need it yet. We have our fins. So we have all these things. Uh, inside of here. Oh, man. Yeah. We've got to get the repair tool up and running. I mean, we don't need it, but we should probably have it. And then do we have the ability to make the laser cutter yet? All right. That guy's G's. And then laser cutter. We do. Except it looks like we're going to need diamonds. Um, I think I know a place to get some. Early game diamonds. So they've made some changes uh, over the years. But now let's go ahead and find there's a thermal vent over here that we're looking for. And I know that there's some early game diamonds. What do diamonds take? <gasps> Hold on a second here. Oh, my God. What a beautiful night. Oh, Dude, the, the Delta Station dock off in the distance. Just looking amazing. Also, hold please. Blue, blue, blue. Thank you. Oh, uh, we have that artifact we still got to check out over there, of course. But what an amazing night. Let's just take a moment to stop 
and appreciate the beauty of this game. Hold on. Is it F? There we look at this. Look at that. Ah, uh, that's a beautiful, beautiful night. All right. All right. I'm, I'm back on mission uh, down here by these thermal vents. They've added these different like ore. I don't even know what to call them. These guys, check it out, man. Like there's uh, like an ore vein type deal. Can I not grab it? Uh, did I hit a button that I shouldn't have hit? Oh, scan? Wait, what? Ore vein. Yeah, ore veins, what they're called. All right, let me see here. Dude, gold for freaking days. Like early games, super, super easy to get. Except for this one that hates me. Uh, oh, there they are right there. Check it out, you guys. Right down over here. Bam, 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 bam. Super freaking easy early game diamonds. And there are more. There's more down here too. Like a really, really great spot to start early game to get like, there's, like I said, there's gold down there. There's diamonds. I don't know what else, um, but there's ore veins all around now and just kind of, kind of know where to get them. Um, I know there are some, I think for magnetite in the game now as well. Oh, sea truck fragment, baby. All over, all the way over here. Oh, one of three. Okay, so we're not quite there yet. Uh, let's pop down in here again just to see. We got to go a little bit deeper probably, and it's a little dangerous down here. Let's keep your eyes peeled for ore veins. All right, we're going deeper. There it is right there, diamonds. Look at this, man. Is that not insane? That guy, and then I feel like that might be it. Oh, we got an egg. Creature egg right there, and I thought I saw something I could scan. Oh, baby, we don't get cooked. Okay, 90 seconds. Maybe we just grab some outcroppings real quick. Ah! Ah! Oh, 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 oh! You're kidding me! I can't believe it. I never die in this game. Wow. Oh, you lost some items. What do you mean we lost some items? We lost a huge amount of items. Can we get them back? Oh, that was unbelievable. Pilot last known position. That's not me. That's not me. I was over this way. Oh my God. Wait, I might need a little bit of food. Let me eat and then let's head over there and see if we can get our stuff back. I don't know if you can get your stuff back in this game. I never die. All right, here's where we were. Dude, I can't, there's no way we lost all that stuff. We lost all of it? Oh my God, it's down inside of the vent. How? Why? This is the worst. Look at it all. Oh, it's all falling down in. Dude, can I even get it? Okay, wait, 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 maybe, maybe. Oh, not again. Why does it hurt so much? It never used to hurt that much. What did I lose now? <laughs> you are kidding me. You, you, you did it. <laughs> I got my lead back. You guys, okay, I'm confused. Uh, it never used to hurt that much. And then you could like, it was like that there was, there used to be like an area of effect. So, Oh my God, I need those diamonds. Uh, there was like, oh, and, I, and I lost half my food. There was an area of effect. And uh, if you if you went outside of it, like it would stop hurting you. It looks to me like now it's a damage over time. So like if you get hit, it just damages you and damages you and damages you. Cause I went pretty high there. I don't know, maybe they, um, maybe the thermal vent goes up higher than I'm remembering. I don't know if we can get that stuff back, man. This is, the, it, but I need the, I need to get it back. What are we gonna do? <laughs> we be, maybe we'll have to use our brain and be a little bit more careful this time. Recovery mission, Alpha 2. We're gonna pop down over inside of here. We're gonna be really, really careful. We're gonna go right over here. Okay, we're just gonna let that guy erupt, right? It's erupting, it's erupting, it's erupting. Go. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Okay, we got a bunch of stuff. Wait, wait. Oh man, this is happening. Erupting, 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 and go. It's done it, ladies and gentlemen. We got all of our stuff back. Oh, look at it all. Ah, oh, we needed that too. Don't, don't be careful being on top. Uh, scan this guy. 
No, I already got him. All right. Well, it looks like... Dude, he might be dead. Is he cooked? Can we eat his legs? What are you doing, dead guy? Oh, can we push him? Oh, he's alive. Oh, careful. They punch. All right. So we got our stuff and things back. Uh, this is great. I'm very excited about that. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Careful there, bud. He's losing his mind. Get out of here. Get out of here. I'm dangerous. I'm sharp. Okay. Everything's going to be great. A little dinner. Ah, feels good to be home. Back at base with more Survival stuff and things. Greatly enhanced with the construction of an underwater vehicle. <laughs> Dude, what are you... T stop being mean to me. Uh, I never die in this game. Leave me alone. I've been playing it for years. I very rarely die. Uh, you know, some stuff and things change. You gotta learn a little bit. Well, we're not really hungry, but I'm gonna eat this peeper anyway because I'm a fat, fat pig. Uh, all right, let's eat that guy right there. Okay, so metals, mats, organics. Let's call this one gems. Gems are truly outrageous. We'll put these inside of there. We have metals that will be copper, lead, all that gold and that silver. We have seeds and eggs going there too, I think. Okay, I'll just squirt that in there for right now. And then this guy, bang. Nope, wrong deal. There we go. Oh, I don't have an extra battery? Oh, I think I lost a battery. Unfortunate. Okay, so we lost a battery that we didn't get back. We have some ribbons. We can make a new one. I think, yeah, I must have. We must have lost a battery in there somewhere. All right, we'll pop that guy in there. And then, oh, wait, no, I'm a derp. All right, doesn't matter. Now we have an extra, extra. No, 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 we're right. Yeah, no, no, everything's good. All right, there we go. There's our extra battery, and that has four in it. All right, sweet. So, that was a little bit hairy for a second. Let me take a look down inside of here again. We have the propulsion cannon we can make. The mineral detector I never really use. Uh, flashlight, not important. Uh, mobile vehicle bay, computer chip, and titanium ingot. All right, let's make that titanium ingot. Let's see if we have the stuff and things we need to make the computer chip. I think we can. Computer chip. All right, we should be good to go now. Mobile vehicle bay. Dude, you guys, we're making it happen. Also, somewhere along the way, we pinned the recipe for a cooked peeper. <laughs> oh, look at that bad ombre. All right, so let's pop in here and unpin all. There we go. All right, so mobile vehicle bay ready to rock. Let's go ahead and pop it over here. Release vehicle bay in large, large letters. All right, maybe right over here. Let's go like that and like that. Uh, I'm going to take some of these and move them around a little bit. I feel like that needs to be here, and I feel like this could go in our zero slot. All right, let's go up here and take a look and see. I don't think we have the sea truck fragments yet. I'm, I mean, uh, exactly. No recipes available. So we're going to need to find some more of those. Uh, sea truck fragments, I do believe, could just be found in wait, twisted bridges as well as sea glide fragments. Uh, so we just got to kind of have to take a look around here and see what we can see. Let me see if I can find a little bit more of these guys. That's two. Found it right over here in Twisted. Oh, this is Mobile Vehicle Bay, I think. Yep, that's another one of those guys. I'll take it for the Titaniums. We'll gather up some resources while we're looking for stuff as well. Look at this, man. It's a smorgasbord of stuff and things. Dude, this place is amazing right here. For early game, this is crazy. Oh, and then sometimes people ask me about the blue glowing. You guys, it's an option. It's right in the game. It's not a mod or anything like that. Uh, it's under accessibility, and it's called... Sorry to break the fourth wall. Options, accessibility, right there. Highlight interactables. I really like to use it. Uh, it just kind of helps me, I don't know, see stuff in the game. It makes it a little bit easier. You don't have to if you like the immersion. It's the same thing with the legs. You don't have to get rid of your legs if you like the immersion. Dude, we are going to be full here in, like, two seconds. Holy moly, man. All right. Uh, anyway, that's the uh, glow, and let's continue to look for sea truck fragments. Uh, yeah, or we could just find it right here. Ladies and gentlemen, blueprint synthesized sea truck. There needs to be, like, an earth-shattering kaboom. There it is. There's a little bit of an earth-shattering kaboom right there. Plasteel ingots. All right, so now we can pop up this way. Let us 
Oh, we got the depth module Mark II as well. And we learned synthetic fibers. That's a lot from unlocking the sea truck. Cool, man. All right, let's pop back over here. We're very close to base. Uh, let's actually, well, we can go inside of this guy right here and then go to the bottom, I think. No, uh, sea truck. There it is. Uh, pin that guy. What are we gonna need for this? Oh man, a lot of lead. So we need a few different things here. Let's go ahead and start constructing some stuff. We're gonna need an advanced wiring kit. Let me see. Let's go like this. Let's go ahead and put some stuff and things inside the storage. Our uh, Subnautica S Plus mod will pull from storages for crafting even from the uh, mobile vehicle bay area. So we'll go like that. That guy can go in there. All right. So we got that guy. We're going to need a titanium ingot. Is that regular glass or enameled glass? I can't really tell. I think it's regular glass. That guy into there. It looks like regular glass. Probably should have held shift. Oh, that's another pro tip, by the way. If you hold shift while you're crafting, it keeps the little crafting window open for you. FYI. Uh, those guys, we can grab three lead. And then we're also going to need uh, one of these. So that means more batteries. And that means more ribbon plants. Okay, I think we've come to the end of our, our ability to craft stuff with things. Uh, yeah, we should just be able to go down here. Let me head back down into Twisted. There's a bunch of ribbon plants down in this area. Ribbon plants have been gathered. We're going to need to make three batteries, right? Oh, no, two. Two batteries. So we can keep the one battery that's in our inventory. And we don't have any dead batteries to use or anything like that. So there's our power cell right there. Dude, are we about to make this happen? Dude, we are making moves today, man. Oh my god. All right. Let's pop over here to our mobile vehicle bay. Under cover of darkness. Ah, oh, in a storm. It's Kevin, 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 and Jessica. Wait, are you are you Jessica? I, I can't actually tell from here. All right. Uh you and you. Oh my god. Let's make that hot sea truck happen. Dude, under it's so dark. We I wish it was day. It's always better to launch vehicles in the day. <laughs> I don't know why. Look at that bad hombre. There she is. The beautiful, beautiful sea truck, ladies and gentlemen. Very, very exciting because this is really the key to Subnautica Below Zero. This is what's going to take us to the next level in this game. Uh, and I can't wait to get there with you in the next episode. No, I at least have to go in. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure if you had fun today, don't forget, hit the thumbs up button and show your support. Come check us out on Twitch Monday through Friday, 5 to 9. Uh, and big shout, uh, excuse me, to everybody's supports on Patreon so that I can take my sea truck to get the, the dents uh, pulled and the scratches buffed out. Because, uh, yeah, that's going to happen. I'm going to bump this guy quite a bit. May the stuff and things be with you. What's up? What's up, bladder? Pardon me, sir. You know what? Waste not, want not. Let's grab that guy.